Perennial sow thistle is a perennial terrestrial weed. Native to Europe and Western Asia, perennial sow thistle was introduced to North America in the early 1800s, likely as a contaminant in crop seed. It's been reported throughout most of North America. Perennial sow thistle capitalizes on soil disturbance and grows best under sunny, moist conditions. It is frequently found in cultivated fields, pastures, gardens, and lawns, and along lake shores and roadsides. It is primarily a weed of agriculture reducing crop and pasture yields. Perennial sow thistle is a perennial forb. Seeds germinate in spring and typically remain as rosettes the entire first year, developing vertical and creeping lateral roots prior to overwintering. Rosette leaves are rubbery and up to 12 inches long by two inches wide. They have prickly margins and may be lobed, tooth, or neither. Plants bolt in late spring of the following year, growing two to several stems per plant that are two to five feet tall. Stems are hollow and branched, with crowded leaves at the base and smaller, more sparse leaves on upper stems. Stem leaves are alternate, stalkless, and clasp the stem with two rounded lobes at their base. Flowering occurs from mid to late summer when three to several flower heads are produced in loose clusters at the ends of branch tips. What appears to be one yellow dandelion-like flower is actually a flower head, up to two inches in diameter, which consists of 30 to 100 yellow florets. There are two subspecies present in North America. On one subspecies, the flower stalks and the bracts beneath the flower heads are covered in glandular hairs. On the other subspecies, the flower stalks and bracts are smooth. Flower heads each produce an average of 30 seeds that are small, dark brown, ribbed, and topped by a tuft of fine hairs that's readily carried by wind and water. A single plant may produce thousands of seeds that can remain viable for several years, though the majority germinate within one. Above ground parts die back after setting seed, and plants re sprout each spring from their roots. All parts of the plant exude a milky sap when damaged. While many related plants in this family have features similar to perennial sow thistle, most do not have the exact combination of large yellow dandelion like flowers, spiny margined leaves, milky sap, and glandular flower stems and bracts. The very similar spiny sow thistle and common sow thistle differ from perennial sow thistle because they're both annuals with tap roots but no creeping lateral roots, and their flower heads are typically less than one inch across. Spiny sow thistle has larger spiny teeth on its leaves and larger lobes at the leaf base. The clasping lobes on the stem leaves of common sow thistle are more pointed than those of perennial sow thistle.